Over the past couple of months, Google Ads has quietly added in a new reporting feature that you can use for your Performance Max campaigns. And when used correctly, this new feature can allow you to very quickly increase the revenue and profit of your Performance Max campaigns. And by using this new feature correctly, I was able to double the amount of sales that an e-commerce brand saw in a matter of six weeks. And on top of that, throughout this process, we also halved their acquisition costs. So we halved the amount that they were paying for each and every conversion, and we also doubled the profit margins of their campaigns. And the even better news for this e-commerce brand is that we are now in the process of rapidly scaling their account. So they can see more and more revenue and more and more sales flow into their business. And this is the exact type of results that I want you to see for your campaigns as well. So in this video right now, I'm gonna take you through what the new feature is and how you can best use this so that you can not only drastically increase the performance of your Performance Max campaigns, but also allow you to start scaling those accounts where you are increasing your ad spend budgets, but also seeing drastically increased amounts of revenue and sales. And when you're confident with the results that you're gonna be seeing in your Google Ads campaigns, the amount that you're spending on ad revenue becomes irrelevant. Because if you know that you can guarantee high profit margins and high levels of revenue, you're more than happy to start investing more of your marketing budget into your Google Ads campaigns. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. And right here on my YouTube channel is where I go through and show you all of the profitable strategies that I've been using in Google Ads since 2010. But if you'd like to go a little bit deeper and drastically increase the knowledge that you have for Google Ads, plus also get more access to me where I can answer your specific questions that you have around your very own Google Ads campaigns, I wanna invite you to my 10X Google Ads community because this is the private community which you can join where I share an advanced masterclass in Google Ads every single month and every single month I also give a live group coaching and Q&A call. And this is where I review and give advice on real accounts from community members. And then on top of all of that, you also get access to my private Google Ads community feed where you can ask any questions that you have in and about Google Ads. And these questions will not only be answered by me, but also community members from all over the world who share their advice and also share their strategies which are working in Google Ads right now. So if you wanna find out more information about my 10X Google Ads community, and just by following the link in the description below, I will give you a limited access to one of my masterclasses for free. So to find out more and to watch that masterclass, just follow that link in the description. But right now, let's get back into today's teaching. The new reporting feature that Google has added to your Performance Max campaigns is that when you're in the overview section, for an individual Performance Max campaign, you have the option to select two new cards. And the first one of these is the average target ROAS, and the second one is your average target CPA. Now, if you're not seeing these two cards as an option in your own Performance Max campaigns, don't worry too much because at the time of recording this video, this was still in its initial rollout and it may not be available in all countries. So all you need to do is just to go back and check in that dashboard for an individual Performance Max campaign every couple of weeks and no doubt you'll be seeing the option of these two cards very soon. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna jump into a screen share so I can show you how you can use these cards, what information they're giving you, we'll also check the results and then I'll take you through the process of how you can use these two information cards to drastically increase the amount of revenue and profits that you are seeing in your Performance Max campaigns. Now I do wanna give a bit of a word of a warning is that this will be a longer screen share but it is gonna be highly valuable. So please stick around to the end. All right, let's go. So firstly, what you wanna make sure is that you're in an individual Performance Max campaign. If you have more than one Performance Max campaign active in your account, you won't see these cards. So just make sure that you're in an individual Performance Max campaign. And you can see we've got the first one here, which is this average target ROAS. And then you've also got another option, which is the average target CPA. Now what these cards let you know is that these cards let you know the current average target ROAS that you have set or target CPA. And you can see in this account, it's recording when we had the target ROAS set at 640%. And then when we've gone through and increased that, now this is on a weekly average, that's why it's 718, because now we have that at 750%. And just in case you're unaware of what this is about, is that this is the Google Ads help page about target ROAS bidding. And this is an automated bidding strategy 
where Google will go through and determine if a user is likely to generate a conversion with a high value. And Google will automatically bid at a higher level because they feel that there'll be a high level of ROAS on that individual search. However, if Google deems the individual search, so the user demographics, their search history, and also the term that they're using, isn't likely to generate a high conversion value, it will use a lower bid. And the same thing happens for your target CPA, but rather than targeting ROAS, it's targeting the amount per conversion. And now I wanna show you the results that we saw. So what you can see in this account is that this blue line is the conversion value cost. And you can see through here, it was at 8.6. What we then did is that we then increased the target ROAS. And then over the coming weeks, we saw that our actual ROAS went up to 12.99 and then we added in another increase. And you will notice how this goes. You can see that when we do add in a new target ROAS, results will sometimes stay the same or just drop down a little bit and then they start peaking again. And what you need to also look at in this data is you need to look at the conversion value. So even though that this ROAS here has gone down, our conversion value has gone up. And when we also look at our cost per conversion, our cost per conversion has continued to go down. So in the coming weeks, this will follow the same pattern where once Google gets used to the new bidding, we'll see a jump up in results. And then we can go through and increase that target ROAS again and follow the same pattern. And as you go through this longer and longer, you'll see a pattern where you get an increase in results. So you then step up the target ROAS bidding. Your results will then stay the same, but what you will see is you'll see your conversion value cost going down and also your conversion value increasing. And then you can increase your target ROAS again. And I also wanna jump in and show you how this looks with our cost, so our ad spend. You can see from here that we've been able to increase our ad spend and take that in line with our conversion value. All the time making sure that our cost per conversion is going down and our conversion value is continuing to go up. Now what I like about this new card, this average target ROAS, and the reason for why it can be so beneficial to your account is that it gives you a really clear overview of what is happening in your account performance when you add in a new target ROAS goal. So if you were to add in a new target ROAS goal and you just saw that your results tanked or dropped away really, really quickly, you could then change your average target ROAS goal or remove that target ROAS goal back to maximize conversions until you felt more comfortable to give it another try. One thing that I will mention as well is that rather than looking at this in a daily method, because this data is just a little bit harder to understand, I recommend looking at this at a weekly or a monthly level so that you can see some longer term trends. And then this example is another account. It's another Performance Max account in, a, in the e-commerce space and I'm using this average target CPA. And you can see from here is that we have added in that target CPA. We've seen that drop in your cost per conversion. But what you just do need to be mindful of is that this can affect your level of clicks. So you do need to also go through and just check your conversion value, making sure your total conversion value is still increasing. So the one important thing that you do need to keep in mind when you are using these target ROAS or these target CPA bidding settings is that they can have an effect on your visibility. So that's why you need to always balance it out with your conversion value to make sure that even if you are generating less clicks, that you are getting more conversion. Because there's no point having a super low cost per conversion if you are not also seeing an increase in your conversion value. And that's why you wanna always be checking your bidding strategies to make sure that you're not just focusing on your cost per conversion or your conversion value cost, but that you're also looking at your total conversion value and also the number of clicks and impressions that your account is seeing. Because this is ultimately what we wanna see in our account, in that we're seeing an increase in clicks, an increase in impressions, which also goes along with an increase in your conversion value, and while you're also seeing a lowering of your acquisition costs. So that's why you need to be very, very careful with the level that you set for your target ROAS, or the level that you set for your target CPA. So if you wanna use target ROAS and target CPA strategies in your Performance Max campaigns, I encourage you to use those new cards which you have available in the dashboard where you can see the effect of your average target ROAS and your average target CPA. 
remembering to also balance it out by looking at your clicks and your impressions to make sure that you're not only achieving a lower cost per conversion or higher ROAS on your account because you are now drastically decreasing the amount of impressions and clicks that you're seeing. Because there's no point having a really low cost per conversion if you've also lowered the total conversion value or the revenue that your campaign is generating while also lowering the impressions and clicks that your ads get. So it's just making sure that you get that balance right and that's why I love these two new cards. Because by using those two new cards, the average target ROAS and the average target CPA, it gives you a really quick visual tool so that you can see over a number of weeks and months what effect the bidding strategies have had on your Performance Max campaigns. And how to use bidding strategies is something that we talk about all the time in my 10X Google Ads community. And remember, if you would like to find more about that community, all you need to do, follow that link in the description. And remember, by following that link, I'll give you free access to one of my Google Ads masterclasses that I run in my community. Once again, thank you for joining me. And one last thing that I do wanna point out is that the strategies that we spoke about in this video will only work if you have your Performance Max campaign set up in the correct way. And to make sure that you have your campaign set up correctly, what I want you to do is I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Thank you again. See you next time.